Hi, Hi friends. friends! Hi, Hi friends. friends! Today we're gonna read When Aiden Became a Brother. When Aiden was born, everyone thought he was a girl. His parents gave him a pretty name. His room looked like a girl's room, and he wore clothes that other girls liked wearing. But as Aiden got bigger, he hated the sound of his name. He felt like his room belonged to someone else, and he always ripped and stained his clothes. Of course, accidentally, not on purpose. Everyone thought he was just a different kind of girl. Some girls had rooms full of science experiments and bug collections. Lots of girls didn't wear dresses. But Aiden didn't feel like any kind of girl. He was really another kind of boy. It was hard to tell his parents what he knew about himself, but it was even harder not to. It took everyone some time to adjust, and they learned a lot from the other families with transgender kids like himself. Aiden explored different ways of being a boy. He tried out lots of names until one stuck. They changed his bedroom into a place where he belonged, and he took much better care of his new clothes. Then one day, Mom and Dad had something to tell him. I'm going to have a baby, Mom announced. A, a baby? baby? Aiden said. Does that mean I get to be a big brother? Of course, Dad, Dad said, ruffling his hair. Aiden thought that being a big brother was an important job for a boy like him. He wanted to make sure his baby felt understood right away. The baby needed clothes, so Aiden and his mom went shopping. There were so many choices. Would the baby like seahorses or penguins better? I like seahorses. I like penguins. We're, we're all, all different. different. Are you having a boy or a girl? Asked a lady. Aiden didn't like when people asked if he was a boy or a girl. And he hoped the baby couldn't hear yet. He was glad when mom just smiled and said, I'm, I'm having, having a, a baby. baby. The baby's room needed to be painted. So Aiden and his dad went to the hardware store. Dad chose a gallon of sky blue paint and Aiden added puffy white clouds. Are you excited for your new brother or sister, asked the paint guy. I'm excited to be a big brother, Aiden said. The paint guy looked confused. Aiden could tell that he wanted to ask a different question, but he was glad his dad was there. The big rollers were fun to paint with. The room feels just like being outside, Aiden exclaimed. And he had always felt trapped in his bedroom before they fixed it. But his new sibling wouldn't have to feel that way. You're right, said Dad. Let's make some shapes in the clouds. Ooh. Every baby needs a name. Aiden loved getting to choose his own. But he remembered that it was hard for his parents to let go of the name they had given him. He looked for names that could fit this new person no matter who they grew up to be. Babies need someone to read to them. So, so Aiden, Aiden practiced, practiced, and practiced, practiced, and practiced, practiced, and practiced, and practiced, and practiced. Dad wanted to teach Aiden how to change diapers. Um, um, maybe, maybe later. later? He decided that picking flowers for his mother was more important. Two weeks before the baby's due date, Aiden started to worry. Maybe he should have picked different colors. The blue walls might be too bright. He wished he could have asked the baby which name they liked best. Mom came to tuck him in. Are you feeling okay, sweetie, she asked. Aiden put his hands over where he thought the baby's ears would be. Do you think the baby will be happy with everything? He whispered. I don't want them to feel like I did when I was little. But what if I got everything wrong? What if I don't know how to be a good big brother? Mom hugged him tight. When you were born, we didn't know you were going to be our son. We made some mistakes, but you were able to help us fix them. And you taught us how important it is to love someone for exactly who they are. This baby is so lucky to have you, and so are we. The next morning, Aiden found boxes of his old baby pictures. He looked so different back then. It hadn't been easy, but he liked the boy that he was growing into. Maybe everything wouldn't be perfect for the baby. Maybe he would have to fix the mistakes that he didn't know he was making. And maybe that was okay. It's, it's a, a baby! baby. Aiden, Aiden knew how, how to, to love, love someone. someone. And that was the most important part of being a brother. Goodbye, everyone. Remember to stay safe and always read books.